Hello Windows Spirits, today we're going to talk about the Windows 3.1x series. I'm going to give some information about it and I'm going to test it right after the intro. Windows 3.1 is a series of the operating environment that is produced by Microsoft. The code name of the operating system was Janus. And uh, this is released on April 6, 1992. So that's uh, around the 80, 28 years ago. The first sold 3.1x series was or operating system was Windows 3.1 that is in an uh, update of the Windows 3. The offic officials report ended on December 31, 2001, like the others. This operating system became more popular because of the program uh, Word in the Office bundle of Windows, Microsoft Windows. Okay, you have uh, various editions of the Windows 3.1 uh, series. So uh, you have to just you have just the Windows 3.1. Uh, just a normal one. There's also a, a Windows 3.1 operating system that is especially for Central and Eastern Europe for Cyrillic alphabets. Uh, you have modular Windows that just for the especially for the game console. Tandy video information system. Uh, Windows 3.11. Uh, this is released on November 22, 1993, and it's had some bug fixes, so not not so much changes. There is also Windows 3.2 released, but that is more for the Chinese uh, prediction, so you see Chinese text in the operating system. And you also have Windows for work groups, for, uh, you have two versions of it, 3.1 and 3.11, and that is especially allow, allow uh, users to share resources, and it had some better Network function. Windows 3.1 had some cool updates like two type fonts, uh, desktop type publishing, new icons. There's a new game Minesweeper replaced by Reversi, I think. So a uh, new game is uh, released. Uh, there are new sounds. This is the first great system with sounds. This is a startup sound, and this is a shutdown sound. You have more internet functions. Internet was upcoming in that time, so uh, people go and try it on this operating system because you have more internet functions. Yeah, it was totally new at that time. You have the ability for uh, pictures that it can move, so movies, but not in that way because uh, media players released in 2000 was just pictures that are moving like an animation but really slow. File names uh, are still in MS DOS. Now is the ability for icons can be tracked, so you can drag your icon to your yeah desktop. Windows Work History is introduced, and you can launch progress via comments.com. The system requirements is Intel 8286 or higher, two megabyte random ASUS memory, and a 6.2. A megabyte of free space on your hard drive. The applications at the time are, were just as normal uh, applications that are normally on Windows 3. You have uh, a more Microsoft Office programs, so uh, Excel, Word, and then more expanded. Windows 3.1 uh, replaced, replaced uh, MS DOS a little bit, so MS DOS is the popularity of the MS DOS is a bit going down, and uh, the operating system, the, uh, the graphic user interface is going up. At that time, there was no Internet Explorer, but uh, you can uh, run Internet Explorer on Windows 3.1, uh, Internet Explorer 2, 2, Internet Explorer 5. You have a kind of media player, but uh, not of the quality of uh, when it's released in 2000. You have various applications like Media Player, WinPlay 3, um, Office Bundle, uh, Internet Explorer, Wing Clock. And now we're gonna test Windows 3.1 on the computer. Okay, we are on Windows 3.1 now. And as you can see, this is just the home screen. I already installed it, the installation is a bit annoying because you have to keep it on 
uh, floppy disks. That is uh, how uh, our installation works at that time. Um, but now I install it, so you see the home screen of Windows 3.1. And I'm gonna first begin with the file manager. Uh, just uh, yeah, the files for in the operating system. And you see, and you can drag it now. But you can drag it everywhere, literally everywhere. There's no tile structure in it. And you have the control panel, this is just for the settings, I think. The color, you can change the color. Yeah, you can be creative in this. And you have two, ty two uh, type fonts. So better, better quality of fonts, and you will see it. Uh, you have ports, something special. The mouse, you can uh, change settings of the mouse. Oh, you have also sounds. Uh, and uh, the sounds are enabled, but you can disable it, so uh, you hear no sounds then. Really easy to use, date and time. Oh, this is um, for 368 enchantment mode. The print manager, it's for print settings, just for the connection of the printer, I think. Clipboard viewer, I think you can type here something in. And you can put it on the desktop. MS DOS prompts, you're going back to MS DOS. MS DOS is another kind of operating system with more comments. And read me. Oh, this is just uh, a tutorial how to use uh, Windows Suite 1. It's more more uh, overview than the Windows 3 function. Now it's it stays in a folder. It is just uh, yeah. It is all. Uh, separated so that is really handy paintbrush uh there's more change i think but still the same as windows 3 paint something in like the graphics are nonsense at the time but of, uh, at this time but at the time was really great and when you save it with a pmp file you cannot type more than eight or use spaces because of the DOS function. Terminal, notepad, recorder. Uh, I think a kind of uh, TV television recorder. Uh, card file. I think for memories. Calculator, clock, object packager. I think to package your uh, a bunch of files. So you can import some uh, files. Or is it a converter? It's something with files, I think. Because you have ob object packager. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments because I don't understand this. And direct map. Oh, this is just for the um, other directors in other languages. So, a media player. Yeah, this is just for sound. But as you can see, it doesn't work. There are MSC device drivers installed in your system. You, uh, you have to install a plugin. I think and a sound recorder also you have to install a plugin or uh, enable an option on the control panel I, I don't know uh, then you have the games uh, not so much solitaire minesweeper first of all was it uh, reverse but now you have minesweeper and I don't hear sounds that's really noticeable okay I literally don't know how this game actually works but I'm gonna try it you don't have to uh, click on uh, bumps and you have solitaire that's uh, just a card game that's also on the Windows 3 so there's nothing changed of that I think uh, some applications you have to install it with a floppy disk as I can I say it in the information part of this video but uh, yeah this is more MS DOS based I think and for backup, you have backup. I think this is more uh, set setting settings part of part of the operating system. Okay, I gonna close this because I don't understand this. Okay, this is really an annoying MS DOS editor. I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm going to MS DOS now. That's not what I want. Oh, you can uh, change uh, settings on MS DOS. I think. Uh, how are you going back? Escape. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Okay, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, I you already used all everything. Uh, some more on this operating system that I not found out now. I love it that, that it's all um, organized in folders. 
so it's really overviewed so you have to view which programs you have on this overrating system that is really easy that's a good upgrade of Windows 3.1 for the rest uh, nothing special I think just uh, not so many internet exp internet uh, functions because internet was upcoming at that time was really strange it's a new concept that is coming uh, in the next video I think on Windows 95 because at that time Windows Internet Explorer was introduced and then it became more popular so this was Windows 3.1 video I hope you liked it and I see you the next time with the Windows 95 video goodbye